Today we're going to look at Mobula Mobular's ROT-LFO. It's an analog LFO with three simultaneous outputs. So this is the module here. You can see that it has, uh, starting from the top, we have uh, these orange and blue LEDs, which are uh, alternating based on the rate that we're running and this is the rate control so you can see that we can adjust that rate control get it pretty darn slow or pretty fast i think that's 10 hertz there around and uh and then here we should be about one maybe that's a little fast but it'll go even slower than that when you get down into the bottom it can be almost look like it's off so it's always important when you start it up to put it in the middle so you know where you're at here we have two switches that even and tilt switch or the normal and slow switch uh, we can show the slow real quick it's pretty slow but when you get down here all counterclockwise you can get when it's in the slow position you can, uh, if you get it all the way counterclockwise, you may, it may be a minute or, or more before you, uh, before it'll alternate. So whenever you take it out of the box, the best way to do it is to put both switches down and uh, put the rate control in the middle so you can see what's happening. We also have the ability to control the rate uh, by this CV input. We'll, we'll look at more on that in a minute. And then we have the three outputs, pointy, round, and square. Take a look at it and see what those look like. There's the pointy one. I th I'd say it's pointy. Here's the round. And here is the square. So when the, when the tilt even switch is in even position, the pointy output is a triangle. Similarly, the round output is a sine wave. And our square is the even square, where it spends the same amount of time up as it does down. When we switch this, the even tilt switch to tilt, then you can see it tilts the triangle into a ramp or sawtooth. And uh, similarly, let's run a little slower so we can get a see better what it's doing. That's the ramp in the pointy in the round we get what i call ocean wave because it looks a little like that it's just a sine wave that's cut funny and the square the pulse wave in this case because we wanted a nice uh, straight edge that that square wave has just little pulses going down it's not very useful Uh, just, I want to show you the, the switch on the back, and sometimes it'll be in, just inside on the opposite side of the board. But here is this, this switch will adjust the way that the tilt operates. In the down position, it's uh, using a nice ramp, and in the up position, it's sort of a gradual saw. Okay, let's take a look at the CV input uh, rate input so uh, this jack here allows you to control the rate similar to the way we were doing it with the control there uh, and when we start to mess around with the cv input we should turn the control all the way up because that it's an attenuator for that cv input when uh when when a jack is is actually when when a patch cable is plugged in, it, it becomes an attenuator. So now I'm just adjusting this 
uh, attenuverter over here to it's in the uh, plus and minus so this is all the way that's five volts plus and this should be zero and then five volts minus and at five volts minus it's pretty slow but you, you could see it so that's kind of cool I uh, I can then have some other part of my rig controlling the actual rate of the LFO now if we want to we can back that off a little with this rate control that's on there now so you can adjust it so that the rate control here is exactly what you want from the highest to lowest by using this now rate attenuator CV attenuator when we take it out let's uh, try a little uh, amplitude modulation so let's take the pointy output from the ROTLFO and put that in the CV input on the uh, VCA Ah, let's just use braids here as our oscillator. And let's take the output right off of there. Let's get... I don't know if you can see the... Uh, display here but there we're getting some amplitude modulation let's slow it down let's adjust the offset here on the Manhattan analog VCA let's give, let's give our increase the CV input can see that let's try it in tilt it's kind of cool it has no in the because we're using the ramp uh, it, it increases and then cuts off I like that That's amplitude modulation. Okay, let's try a little frequency modulation. It's, uh, we're using the mutable instruments uh, braids, uh, and we're just gonna take the gonna patch the FM input from the Let's try the sign output. We should kind of, it's shifting gears, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if we increase. Yeah, even more like a car. That's better. That's FM modulation. You can see the frequency is changing on the display there. I like that. I want to go do something with that. Okay, let's patch some stuff up. Let's try... Uh, something uh unusual at the present let's try to take the to have the rotlfo uh fade 
between two uh, oscillators. So we're going to take the pointy output. We're going to put it into the crossfade on this uh, IntelliGel microfade. And you can see that. Let's switch the... Now you can see that the, as the... Uh, as the lights here on the ROTLFO go, so go the lights on the microfade. Okay, so now let's uh, get some sound out of that. So let's take the mix from here and let's have that be our output. And let's take the pulse out of the microfade I mean out of the uh, WMDSSF spectrum on the left and then we'll do the same on the right so now we should be able to should be f fading between the two. Let's see if it's really doing that. <laughs> there you go. Ultimately, an LFO is a is a knob turner. It's just uh, it's so that you can do other other things rather than twist the knobs uh, on a particular patch. So let's use the ROT LFO to turn the cutoff frequency on the micro VCF from Intelligio. So let's just take the let's see we're in even so we're going to take the sign out we're going to have that control fm1 we're going to let's just use a braids in and just put our output there in the low pass filter So you can see we're on slow. That's fast, or normal I should say, but we can get that down where it's right about where we would be doing it. And if we switch it to slow, it might change it in something we wouldn't even have the patience for. And this gives me an idea how to how we might do this. Uh, so I'm gonna go patch up a bunch of stuff and I'll be back in a second. I'm going to leave you with uh, uh, this patch that I made centered around the ROT LFO by Mobula Mobular. Enjoy. <laughs> 